you know, it's nice to, to hear from people that like have gone through this and know what it's like and went through the shit of it and went through the amazing parts of it. And it's like, I just want to protect her, you know? I don't want her to go through anything I went through. I don't wish that upon anybody. Yeah, if she ever needs me, I'm, I'm just a call away. You know, I've had some conversations with Bieber about this where we just, you know, talk about the craziness of our lives and whatever. Yeah, it was really sweet of him. It I mean, was, dude, yeah, think nice. about what that man has gone through. It's yep. really insane. No matter like how many people are, are there for you and have gone through similar things, it's like, Nothing ever happens twice. Justin Bieber has really stepped up for Billie Eilish, and both artists know all too well the challenges of growing up in the music industry. Starting out young, they faced immense pressure and scrutiny. Justin, having dealt with the highs and lows of fame, understands how tough it can be. Despite his own struggles, he's been a steady support for Billie lately. Recently, Billie opened up about a difficult experience with Diddy that left her feeling overwhelmed, and Justin reached out to offer genuine support and reassurance, which made a real difference for her. It's inspiring to see how friendships like theirs can develop in such a chaotic industry. Their bond highlights the importance of having someone in your corner when things get tough. Interestingly, some comments Justin made a while back about wanting to protect Billy have resurfaced, especially in light of recent allegations against Diddy. It's fascinating how past remarks can take on new significance with recent events unfolding. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to like and subscribe to stay updated on all the latest content. It's free and helps us keep bringing you more. It was hard for me being that young and being in the industry and not knowing where to turn and everyone, you know, telling me they love me and, you know, just turn their back on you in a second. Um, so if she ever needs me, I'm gonna be here for her. But, um, but yeah, just protecting those moments because people take for granted uh, encounters and um, I just want to protect her, you know? I don't want her to go through anything I went through. I don't wish that upon anybody. Yeah, if she ever needs me, I'm, I'm just a call away. Two, back in 2020, Justin Bieber opened up about his feelings for Billie Eilish during a heartfelt conversation with Zane Lowe on Apple Music, just before releasing his album Asterisk Changes Asterisk. He became emotional, revealing just how much her well-being mattered to him. Reflecting on his own journey as a young artist, he described the intensity of becoming a superstar at 14. Signed under Usher's label, who was himself mentored by Diddy, Justin's early years were a whirlwind. It's clear why he feels a protective instinct toward Billy. He's seen the darker sides of fame and genuinely cares about supporting younger artists. It was hard for me being that young and being in the industry, he shared. Everyone was telling me they loved me but would turn their back on you in a second. I just wanted to protect her. Billy was only 18 at the time, and Justin expressed concern for her as someone who skyrocketed to fame herself at a young age. Her debut album, Asterisk When We All Fall Asleep, Where Do We Go Asterisk, hit number one in the US and produced a string of hits. Justin's own struggles had been very public, and he didn't hold back about how dark things had gotten for him. It was bad, it was dark. Both Justin and Billy have had to navigate the highs and lows of fame, which has likely deepened their connection. Think about how young I was and so impressionable, and everyone telling me how awesome I am, he explained. Justin expressed a desire to be a good example for Billy, telling her that if she ever needed support, he was just a call away. He genuinely wants her to know she's not alone, which is such an important message in an industry that can feel isolating. Fans have speculated that the dark times Justin referred to might be linked to his early years under Diddy's mentorship, a time that could have contributed to the feelings of shame he mentioned. Some believe that the pressures of fame, coupled with the intense influence of someone like Diddy, may have led to challenging experiences. While Justin hasn't explicitly mentioned Diddy, his words have raised questions about the type of mentorship he received and its impact on his mental health. These questions resurfaced after a video clip showed a young 15-year-old Justin with Diddy, who hinted at spending 48 hours together in a way that, in hindsight, seems questionable. We can't really disclose what we're doing, Diddy says in the clip, but it's like a 15-year-old's dream. 
The common, along with other hints in Justin's reflections, has raised eyebrows among fans who now wonder what impact that period had on him. Justin, he's in, you ever seen the movie 48 Hours? Right now, he's having 48 hours with Diddy, him and his boy. Um, they're having the times of their lives, like, 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 you know, where we hanging out and what we doing. Um, we, we can't really disclose, but um, it's definitely a 15-year-old's dream. Um, you know, I, I, I have been given custody of him. You know, he yeah. signed the Usher. He signed Usher. I, I had legal guardianship of Usher when, when you know, he, he did his first album. I did yes. Usher's first album. I don't really, I don't have legal guardianship of him, but for the next 48 hours, he's with me. So, um, and, and, and we're going to go full, buck full crazy. We're going crazy. Crazy. I'm taking this out tonight. What you want to do? What you want to do over the next 48 hours? 48 hours, let's go, um, are we gonna, let's just go get some girls, let's go get some girls. Man. Remember? Yeah. The music mogul added, Item have legal guardianship over him, Bieber, but for the next 48 hours, he's with me, and we're going all out. Well, when he was 15, and actually in that, 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 um, excerpt inside the house where he was like, yo, you want one of these? And it was a Lamborghini. He actually told me to pull the Lamborghini out, pull it in the front, and I pulled it in the front. So it was me, him, Scooter, Scooter, what's his name? Scooter, uh, uh Scooter, Scooter, uh, Scooter, Brock, Scooter yeah, Brock. Yeah, yeah, Brock. Yeah, yeah. Brock. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was him, and it was just basically one of them phone calls like, yo, I'm in town, I'm gonna bring Justin Bob, I want you to holler at him for a little while. And he just hollered at him for they ain't stayed together 48 hours and all that. He just was talking shit right there. He stayed there for about an hour or two. Blah, 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 and he got a body there. People are now revisiting that moment and questioning the dynamics of Justin Bieber's relationship with Diddy, speculating whether underlying issues may have contributed to the darker experiences Justin has hinted at. This situation has only become more complex as new details emerge. In another recently resurfaced clip, Khloe Kardashian shared her own experience of running into Justin at one of Diddy's infamous parties in 2014. She described the scene as chaotic, noting that half the guests were naked, a vivid recollection that adds to the discussion about the kind of environment Justin was exposed to early in his career. One commenter observed, it was still reckless of Usher and Scooter to introduce Justin to someone like Diddy. Even though Diddy hadn't been accused of anything at that time, he was known for wild parties that could influence young teenagers. Justin, many argue, deserved more protection. Complicating things further, a recently unsealed indictment against Diddy includes disturbing claims from federal prosecutors, alleging that he hosted freak-off parties where women were coerced into performances with male workers. The allegations suggest these events were recorded, potentially giving Diddy material he could use for blackmail and control. A chilling abuse of power. Diddy has been charged with trafficking, racketeering, and transporting individuals for illicit activities. He has pleaded not guilty to all charges and remains in custody at a federal detention facility in New York while awaiting trial. As these developments unfold, they raise critical questions about accountability and the safety of young artists in an industry often focused on fame over well-being. Rumors have surfaced suggesting that Justin may have been a regular attendee at these notorious parties, fueling speculation that he might have witnessed or experienced things he now feels ashamed of. Although Justin hasn't confirmed these rumors, they add a new dimension to the struggles he has shared publicly. It's possible that some of the dark feelings he mentioned stem from intense experiences at these high-stakes events, where young artists could easily find themselves overwhelmed or even pressured. The idea that he might have felt coerced or manipulated is unsettling, especially given how public his journey has been. Some have speculated that Diddy may have blackmailed Justin, which could explain Justin's silence regarding these events. Given Diddy's influence, it's easy to imagine how Justin might feel trapped in a difficult position. His silence, even now as others speak out against Diddy, has led fans to wonder if he's still facing industry pressure. It seems he's in a tricky position where he must weigh his words carefully to protect his career and reputation. What do you think? Comment below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated with the latest celebrity news. I post weekly uncovering the hidden stories of your favorite stars.